Hello Virgo, welcome back. We're going to be checking in with the person on your mind and see what their situation is and their current feelings. Let's see, what is this? Everyone keeps on getting this card, not today. <laughs> not today, bro, not today. Not going to deal with that. Oh, it's February, yeah, yeah it's February. Oh, why are they so upset? Okay, we got the sword. The same card came out for Cancer, I believe. So some of you, if you're dealing with a Canceria, you may want to check that reading out. All right, the same card. Like it was also talking about sabotage energy and wanting to rebuild, wanting to express how they feel, but they're kind of like, you know, procrastinating on this. I mean, having a poker face so they're not completely open and honest about how they truly feel they may have gambled on something could be just gambling on love right just telling you like hey i'm not interested in a relationship or i'm not um i'm not interested in you but eventually they feel like they lied to themselves and they they gambled because you walked away that's the type of energy that i'm getting and now they feel upset about their own behavior and they don't know how to open up the communication in order to repair and work on this connection. So it's a little bit different maybe, but I do see a lot of similarities. So let's see how this is going to be panning out. What is going on here for Virgo? Two of Swords to the Ace of Cups. That's exactly what I was getting, right? Like stalling, not wanting to fall in love, trying to block their heart in order to not fall in love, right? Like that was the energy that I was actually picking up on. They don't feel like they're ready to, to be in a relationship. Yeah, they're being way too logical in their approach to love. Look at this, Four of Cups, uh, the, the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles. I get the feeling that this person, if this resonates, this is the storyline, this person kind of like rejected you and they weren't really sure about that, right? Like they held back a lot of information in regards to their stability, in regards to their progress in life and they, they may have not been in a space to accept your offer because I keep on seeing that Ace of Cups with the Two of Swords as well in my vision is in like... I'm sorry, but I cannot fall in love. It, I don't have time to fall in love. I need to work on my, on my career. I need to work on uh, getting successful. Uh, I will be getting into a relationship after I have these muscles in my life. I think that this is quite a driven person, but things are not going in their, in their way. They may have lost a lot of things. I feel like maybe during this pandemic, they may have lost some things that they feel like they need to work double so hard to regain it. I feel like for some of you, I'm getting a specific message of someone that had to close down their, their business, their store, something that was very valuable for them. And ever since they've been quite upset and as well as quite, yeah, just very down and depressed about things. So... Again, I'm, I'm seeing someone that is constantly worried and logically tries to think on how to reinvest their money. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse keeps on saying that they keep on um, closing out opportunities for their own future, right? This is someone that just is too ra uh, rational in their, in their headspace. They don't want to allow emotions to get the better of them why because they haven't dealt with something emotional from their past right that's the four of cups not today not wanting to deal with it and because they've been stuffing up or stuffing down these emotions every time sometimes emotion comes through they get so overwhelmed they're like no 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 emotions just make things worse that's the type of mindset and this is something that needs to be changing like th this needs to change obviously because, yeah, the King of Swords ah, is someone that always finds some type of a picky thing, right? Like, it's always cautious. It's always rationalizing things. It's been like, oh, but this does not make sense. It's like, 
this Terminator type of look of someone that is not able to feel and only see. But in this case, case, I feel like it's not going to. It's not going to be that. Bad. I don't know how to word it, but it, it's like, yeah, eight of swords. All right. They're going to be stuck all the time. If they're going to be stuck in a loop because you will always find a reason. You will always find a reason to say no. You will always find a reason to reject if you're in this type of energy, right? And the eight of swords is like, they may, like they make one problem and then they make like multiple problems more. It's like, this could go wrong. And then with that coulda, woulda, shoulda going wrong, they create like a more problematic, Thing and they're not solution oriented here. Overthinking is killing this person. I absolutely feel that. Like overthinking. Yeah, but look. Seriously, seriously. <coughs> Sorry. Eight of Pentacles reversed. It's like not solution oriented, right? They need to work on freeing themselves. Free your mind. Free your mind, please, from all the doubts, from all the fears and the coulda, woulda, shouldas, because this is not leading anywhere. It's not progressive energy. It's carelessness. And it just like, it takes up so much room in our head that it just creates more obstacles and it creates more boundaries and challenges and look at that the outcome is like the emperor with the four of pentacles someone that keeps on holding on to to their own mindset and their own stingy way and their own greediness eventually the tower would hit to make this person come out of that fear right it's like it's a it's an awakening you know what I mean? It's like if someone is constantly just worried about their finances and they're, um, you know, not changing anything and not making any improvements or changes that are for the benefit or they're constantly in this fear, fear based mode, right? Like the eight of swords is constantly in that fear energy of like this could go wrong, that could go wrong. And then the universe comes in and shows you that that particular thing is not something to be worried about. Like there are bigger things to be worried about in life than what this person is worrying about. And that makes like this person have this rude awakening because the tower is not always like, oh, this is a breakup, like falling apart. No, it's the mindset, is the structure that is falling apart. And in this case, it was not healthy. The four of pentacles with the tower is not healthy foundation. It's a scarcity foundation. Yeah, exactly. Scared to be back on your own two feet, right? It could be that this person needs to, like, let's say for example, they lost their company. They had to shut it off. Um, now they need to kind of like get out of that system and start to build a new uh, business and get independent again within that instead of like holding on to their pennies we need to kind of like get out in the world and be confident again and this tower is going to allow them to give them the confidence it's like something that happens that wakes them up is like whoa my life could have been worse actually like why am i even crying about this like these type of wake-up calls are very important and they are not for for something bad. The tower is not bad in this situation. It's actually a good thing. So yes, the, the, the moon is also talking about the fear. Fear that has been created here. Being way too cautious, way too careful and allowing your fears to regulate all your emotions and your decisions. And what do we do out of fear? We try to play safe. But honey, you cannot always play safe in your life because you will not get anywhere. And I feel like for the past couple of years, this person has been trying to play everything so safe. And what, what's the outcome of that? The five of pentacles. They keep on losing it because they're playing too safe. They're in this comfort zone, comfort spot. 
insecurities are, are a big factor in this person's life. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of like a little bit on the sidelines here, Virgo. Yeah, you're in this, you're definitely on the sideline. Look at that. The first two cards that popped up here, detachment of the feminine. So the feminine energy has been detaching cold steel, you know, and you're just observing. I feel like from from the outside you're just observing this person you know what they are going through but you're just like when is this person going to wake up when <laughs> when uh, are they going to wake up for god's sake and they are well someone here could be in the comfort zone of partying going out uh, having some type of addiction or trying to run away from fixing the situation fixing the problem and they might be trying to find external sources to, uh, to stay in their comfort zone, right? Going out, waking up late the next day and using that distraction. And the distraction of their problems and their pain and their emotional discomfort. We go deep in this one, Virgo. Wow, we go really deep. Let me see what else I have before we move over to the extended because this this one hits deep. Make sure to watch your uh, moon and rising as well because all these messages are so different. So if this didn't resonate, obviously it won't be here anymore. But uh, make sure to also watch those because, yeah, very unique messages that come through. We have the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Wands. Look at you. You... I feel like this is you on the sideline and obviously, obviously if you're in this type of energy, if your person is in this energy and you're here feeling confident, feeling like oh, I'm ready to, to get it, you know, um, taking care of not just your business but also like creatively finding solutions in your life and being inspired and being an inspiration to this person, it's, it's like you... you radiate a lot of beauty as well as optimism and i feel like you're overshining like you're you're your, mm, your light is too bright, bright. right the, the, the feminine energy's light is very bright and i feel like your person is a little bit in this discomfort zone and they they do feel inspired by you however how, is they, how, how are they going to move out of this energy? That's, that's the question, right? Like Inspired, but... Yeah, to work together with you. And maybe their ego is kind of like saying like, no, 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 that cannot happen. But you come forward with a lot of solutions. You're a very wise, um, optimistic, hard worker. You are someone that does really care about what other people say and what they bring to the table. You are very determined and you have this go-getter type of energy. And they all they can do right now is take your advice, take your help and work together with you. Or allow you to advise them or to guide them in any type of sense. And whenever someone is open for that... Because the thing is, this person may be afraid that if they do take your help, support, your warmth, your optimism, your 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 advice, advice they feel like they're going to be guilty for giving you something back in return, right? Or that one day you will switch up on them and be like, yo, um, I did all of this to you and for you and the reason that you are here is because of me. That could be a very fearful thought, right? And But it's a very humanistic thought. Right? If you could put yourself in, in their shoe or in that situation, you would feel like, okay, if I take your advice, are you going to be forever saying, like, I did this to you and I did that to you? Maybe you won't, but that does not mean that someone cannot be fearful of that, right? I mean, obviously, that, that to me sounds like a very logical explanation of why this person is kind of like struggling. I feel like this Seven of Wands energy. But they're going through a hardship and they need some type of cooperation here, right? So that's what I have for you. Look at you being a Virgo 
on the sideline, like I said, at the bottom of the deck, and you're just watching this whole thing going on, and you have wisdom to guide. You're a very sage person, you're very wise, you're very intelligent, you are a soul searcher, and you're seeing the light, you you're have the solution, and all you have to do is kind of like illuminate the light, right? <laughs> as the illuminator but yeah you are illuminating the path forward and i think this is beautiful all right that's what i have for you let me know in the comments below how this resonated and drop a like if it helped you out and i catch you guys in the extended for their intentions and their next actions take care